Yeah. You know, Coach used to say something that would fire us up when we were behind. Yeah, what? Loser! You're a loser! <laughs> are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt! You make me sick, you big baby! But yeah, you that's, that's the coach for a guy. That's the guy's coach. <laughs> uh, well, I'm trying to be your coach. I... Water. Water, water, water. All right. What's up, people? Welcome back to Freaking Ape Live. My name is Dinesh. Today we are watching King of King of the Hill, episode number nine. It's called Peggy the Bogle Chan. I'm guessing the Bogle that Bogle is a game. The previous one was called Shins of the Father, in which Hank's father come home, and obviously he, I mean, he's from the past, so he has views from the past. Uh, you know, like making a girl's ass and asking her to bring you a drink telling a girl that they cannot work on a car because that's a guy's job something like those kind of old views he had that and i don't know who to blame in this kind of situation i mean at that time it was it was fine do like that and to me it was amusing for some reason i know the reason though uh i like the stereotypes and when certain something stereotype happens with whether it could be a stereotype of an old person who believes in totally different views because he was from that generation or it could be a stereotype of a particular relig uh, region or religion or whatever i like those stereotypes i like to watch those stereotypes but in terms of joke i'm just saying i just want to make this clear i don't want people to do those kind of behavior but to watch it in t in terms of like entertaining form of way it's very amusing to me i like those kind of jokes and i don't want it, these kind of jokes to get cancelled or myself uh, for you know laughing at those jokes being uh, get cancelled so yeah i just need to put the disclaimer out and there's one other reason uh i don't know why i'm sharing it for some reason i have a fantasy of being a white male in the 50s i don't know why like how it's how it began why it is that way why a white male in the 50s uh in 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 los angeles to be specific but i don't know it's just me ever since i was a kid i felt like that and i never said this to anybody but i'm here i am talking talking about this on camera telling everybody i just it's not like i hate my uh country or my skin color or my religion or anything like that it's just a fantasy and I think it, it, it has to do something with the power because I think a white male in the 90s had a lot of power maybe I'm just making I'm trying to make sense to my mind like why I feel that way why I have this fantasy but never mind yeah if I had a time machine I would go in the 90s for some reason make myself white <laughs> I, I don't know how and I'd have that fluent American accent southern to be specific i try to speak southern but it don't come out but yeah I, I went on tangent i'm sorry you guys but i need but i'm glad i talked about it because i never talked about i never told this to anybody that me i have this kind of fantasy but yeah here i am wanted to be hex father for some reason Alrighty. Let's watch the ninth episode. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to watch the full length reaction videos, check out my Patreon. You can help support me over there. Because I want to complete my goal. And my goal is to get out of my home and get an apartment so that I can make more videos. Start in three, two, one, go. Bogle. The goal is to make words out of these 25 letter keys. Oh, that's, it's called bagel? Okay. Ba me tam yum. It's got to be a real word, honey. <laughs> ba me tam yum. Thai spicy noodle soup. Tasty okay. and delicious. Uh, well, I just want to say, uh, when I went to Thailand last year, I, I had my first seafood. No, not first seafood. I had my first shrimp. It was a shrimp soup. Super fucking delicious. Never had anything like that. Awesome. I tell you, I hate to see Nancy cooped up all Sunday playing that boggle. It's a beautiful day. She mm. ought to be outside hanging my laundry. <laughs> yeah, of course, you should be hanging your laundry on this beautiful day. Thrill to the awe-inspiring spectacle of the Snapper Precision Mowing Team, Sea King Mo. Make an American flag with it. Pile up quick! Over 10,000 oil paintings must be sold! Don't miss the Dallas Mower Expo! Be there! Goddamn, all the men are hyped. 
because of that voice. You know, the Elks are having a boggle tournament to raise bail money for their treasurer. Maybe bail you money? should enter. Me? Oh, fish. I just play for fun. Men, you owe me $13. Thank you. Yeah, you, you were just playing for fun, though. Maybe next week I teach you Mahjong. Bring your checkbook. <laughs> All right, Peggy, I replaced my watch battery, ate a Cinnabon, and bought a P-trap. I can't okay. kill any more time. Let's go. Time. <laughs> it is only round five. <sighs> hmm. Impatient. Oh, I hope you don't mind, but I only used words that appear in Patsy Klein lyrics. <laughs> She's good in the game. Also a bit cocky. Need to find your name in the next boggle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah. Boy, that wife of yours is pretty good. Uh, I guess that's no. why they call her your better half. <laughs> Who calls her that? Yeah. They. And I <laughs> hope that your leg gets better real soon, Zachary Quinn Jr. <laughs> I'll just try to flip the pen, but I never could do it. Looks like someone's gonna have to clear some room on his trophy shelf. Mom's trophy's bigger than yours. <laughs> oh, Pooh, I don't care about the trophy. The real honor is getting to represent Arlen in the state boggle championship. <gasps> You're going to state? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's so exciting. Just like when Uncle Hank went to state for high school football. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's exactly like that, Luann. Oh, well, it might. <laughs> Unless you want me to go off to Dallas by myself. Dallas? I don't <laughs> want you going to Dallas at all. That place is crawling with crackheads and debutantes, and half of them play for the Cowboys. Oh, come on, Hank. It's just for the weekend. We'll be back on Sunday. Sunday! 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 Oh, no! Guess who's going to the mower show? And if you guess right, you... Oh, yeah! So they... Whatever the ad was playing on the TV, it's on Sunday, which is in Dallas, I suppose. Boy, how'd you manage to swing that with Peggy? She don't like mowers like we like mowers. Simple. Goddamn. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, for you, you will just see the next part when I try to record, but... This is what I have to deal with. Uh, that's why I I need to move out of here, cause you know. That's why you get to see much less videos on my channel because of the problems like this. I I don't mind you singing religious songs, but why on the fucking speaker? That's my neighbors. If you guys don't uh, don't know, but. It's okay even if you play the, the religious song on, on speaker, that's fine too. But at least sing well. What the fuck are you singing? I found a boggle tournament in Dallas to keep her busy while we have some real fun. Check it out, yeah. man. Talk about a road trip up at that Big D motel, man. You talk about the biggest names in mowers, edges, and clippers. Be there. Man, it's going to be fun. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Peggy. We got to get to Dallas before the gangs wake up. Hey! I like how I am. <laughs> I, I, I'm just so happy to see new landmores. Get eight hours of beauty sleep and then write a paper on it. In a minute. Honey. <laughs> okay. Now, it is very important that we know we can trust you two. Now, no parties while we're gone. Okay. Mm. W I N. Oh, I promise to make Derek King. Mr. Loop. There are some pumps proud. This weekend, Peggy Hill is. Mr. Loop. Good luck and maybe cool goodbye. Life. Maybe. Where I come from, either you come home a winner or you not come home at all. Good luck, Peggy Hill. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> either come home a winner or don't come at all. That's what my parents want me to do. <laughs> mm, I also got a fire safety video starring Chuck Mangione. Fire safety video? But remember... Chuck says, always unplug your iron after use. Thanks for the tip. Damn, that's a big ass hotel. <laughs> it's okay, honey. Valet parking is included in the price of the room. I don't like the looks of this one, Peggy. He's just itching to take my truck for a joy ride. That is true. I don't like his looks either. Look at that! 
I like Mr. Lube jacket though, it's pretty cool. Oh, look everyone, it's Peggy Hill, Bagel Champ of Ireland, Texas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Joan, Bagel Hospitality Coordinator. Here's your tournament tool bag, a schedule of events, and a bagel lay. We have tons of activities to occupy your time while Peggy plays oh, bagel. Oh, he, he will be occupied, don't worry about it. He know what he wanna do. A wallet. Would you like to make a wallet? Uh, I don't what? think so. Harley Davidson already made one for me. <laughs> a wallet, okay. Take and? it from me, Chuck Man Joni. Unplugging the iron feels so good. Can you dig it? Who is this Chuck Man? Use a coaster. Uh oh. <gasps> uh oh. What have you done? It's that okay. coffee table is trashed. Your parents trusted us, Bobby, and we let them down. <laughs> it's okay. It won't be over 48 hours. I'll think of something. Hey, I got it. You think of something. Nope, I have a Peggy Hill. Yeah, that's it. Hank and Peggy Hill. I have a Peggy Hill. She's my wife. Oh, okay. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Peggy Hill. Now, you listen to me. The name is Hank Hill. Mr. Hank oh. Hill. Oh. Peggy married me. I didn't marry her. Oh, okay. What are you looking at? You call them. Sissy, I am fellow boggle champ Peggy Hill. My, my, what an interesting jacket. <laughs> Did you patch that together yourself? Well, actually, it was given to me by the Arlen Boggle Boosters. They got local businesses to sponsor my trip. Oh, <laughs> how exciting. Why, you're at the very beginning of a rags to riches story. <laughs> Why is she being a bitch about it? I guess it's the competition. Barney it's gone, Swag. Bobby. Oh, God. Your parents are going to be home in 47 hours. Hurry. <laughs> no. Ah! <coughs> God damn. I knew. I'm dying. <laughs> Why, hello there, Peggy Hill. Name's Burnett. Sissy Cobb's husband slash coach. Uh, actually, my name... You don't have to explain. I got an uncle named Leslie. And the Duke himself, John Wayne, was really named Marion. You take that back. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on high. Yeah, no! Okay, they're gonna ruin everything. So I'll see you at dinner. I gotta get to the mower <laughs> show. Well, you can't leave now. You are my coach. I need you. No, you don't. You can still win. This is my moment. You know, when I close my eyes, I see myself in the winner's circle, and you are right there next to me. My I mean, coach. Yeah. My man. And we drive... My neck, my back, lick my pussy.